wa 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 welcome welcome everybody welcome to the bone pit i'm your host bone score and today today we are playing scott pilgrim versus the world the game now as i recall you came into this last time and um she last okay yeah last we left this off we were having to go back to the first stage every like after every run because we needed to get money and heal and upgrade and all that so i went ahead i went ahead and i got a bunch of upgrades uh, and I got everything to at least level 50. Uh, so, I ended up getting, like, all my stats to level 50. Everything except uh, strength. And then uh, the only items that were left um, that I could use to upgrade strength were... Uh, had um they also upgraded the other stats and the guide that i was using that said like oh yeah this is what each item costs where to get it what stats it upgrades um that offered me nothing or like it was incomplete it was straight up incomplete it was um it was missing information so like it told me like, oh hey, I can get four strength points from this item here, and it's real cheap. Yeah, but it didn't tell me that I also get two points in speed or defense as well. So now I have a couple of my stats are just slightly over fifty, but it's fine. It's fine. It'll it it levels out. It's about the same. Uh, yeah, we're uh, we're a bit better suited to go forward now uh this is something that i yeah i think is just done in a lot of beat-em-ups now um you just gotta get that early game grinding done and then you can move forward with a decent pace uh, otherwise you're just ping-ponging between the first stage and wherever progress you can make right so now we can actually like hit the levels and just go through hopefully uh, hopefully it'll uh, be a bit smoother. So, big excited for that. Hoping we can make some good progress today. Let's roll right into it. Uh, there's nothing really to announce or complain about today, save for the Discord, which is there. Discord's a thing for the channel. You can you can get into it. I'm there. A whole bunch of other cool people are there. Um, you can get into it by smashing that sub button on the Twitch page. And if you do so, uh, you can also get access to emotes on the Twitch channel, sub badges, etc. And the uh, the Discord is accessible by linking your Discord to your Twitch account after smashing that sub button. So, booyah! It's in your hands now. Uh, with nothing else to get out of the way, save our Discord announcement. I will drop my controller on the floor, and the LP is just done. It's just done. Stream over, game canceled, channel dead. Uh, I'm going to get up and turn the TV on. One second. Wah, wah, wah. Sorry, my apologies. I decided last second that I wanted a cookie. 
Uh, where's my mouse? PS4 view. Bam. Let's get into it. Mmm. So in the midst of grinding, I ended up at level 16, which really just unlocks moves. It doesn't unlock stats, right? As we know, we have to buy stats. So it doesn't really matter a whole lot. Um, and 16 is in fact the level cap for this game. Oh. Hmm, yeah. I would like to check. Hmm. <clears throat> so we do indeed have access to our leveled up Ramona on the higher difficulties. Which is why you want to go through on easy to start out. You saw how much difficulty we were having already on easy with a base level character. So best to best to start there and work your way up. Hmm. Ah, tea is hot. <clears throat> tea is hot. Tea was freshly made. Yeah, here we go. So. Yeah, as you guys can see, we've got 50 strength, 51 defense, 52 willpower, and 51 speed. Um, that is on account of the data in the guide on the IGN being inaccurate. <clears throat> it is incomplete, and it is missing certain stats, so do not follow that one if you were trying to get an exact even level. Hmm... Yeah, so our next level experience is nothing, because we can't go above 16. Uh, our health is at 151, our guts, I guess, is at uh, 157. We've got 166.55. Now, I don't have it pulled up, but there are a whole bunch of things that we can get in the video store after uh, we pay off Scott's late fees including extra lives for five bucks a piece that is significant because the extra lives that we buy from Wallace <clears throat> in his secret shop there cost ten times that much that's fifty bucks a life from Wallace now, it costs a hundred times that initial cost to unlock it, which is about the cost of ten lives from Wallace. Uh, so, <clears throat> if you're going to be buying more than ten, if you're going to be buying ten or more, then yeah, it, it's a better idea to save up to pay off um, the late fees rather than to get the the lives from Wallace. Because you might think, oh, well, I'll get a few from Wallace, and then, you know, that'll keep me going as I go through, right? But really, you don't need to... Like, the best place to grind is this first stretch here, from the frozen suburbs through to the end of the shopping district. <clears throat> you don't really need to go anywhere else. Um, that's the best stretch for cash, right? And you can do that over and over and over again, even at base level, without having purchased any stats, right? Uh, which I'm sure you'd probably end up doing, like, uh, just a little bit to heal yourself as you go through, right? But I did not progress anywhere beyond where we were. I did not go through any of the other levels. Uh, I did... I did go into Castle Loma, like, once, <clears throat> and then I got killed promptly and realized there's not as much money here as there was in the beginning levels, so 
we're going through. We're going to start on the transit level. I guess I will show you guys the move list as well real quick. Uh, we had, I think, up to level 12 last time. Um, ground and Pound, yeah. Uh, so we also unlocked the Spin Attack, the Grand Slam, uh, Air Recovery, and the Tick Attack. So we can try those out uh, as we go in. Summertime Blues, follow that ninja chick. Okay. Follow her. So, <clears throat> oh god damn it, you roller chicks. We're quite a bit faster. We're also quite a bit stronger than we were last time. Yep. Yeah. And by faster, it's not just our movement speed, but our attack speed has also gone up. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, we're able to finish guys, like, in just a few hits now, which is excellent. Let's take all their quarters. This stage isn't too bad. For getting money from people. There's a lot of quarters that drop on this level. Oh no. Oh no. As you go up in level. Up through the levels. They'll start to drop like slightly more and more I think. Um, like the enemies in general. <clears throat> but in terms of like. Like enemy density. Um like on like compared to payout um alongside like uh like the the damage it takes to defeat them like even at a base level right like it's most efficient i think to go through the uh, the first level there see like this this place doesn't the bus it doesn't last for very long it's not a very long stretch Blocker. And once we get off of it, I think we start fighting the ninjas. <clears throat> and the ninja people are tougher, right? They're tougher than these guys. They're harder to beat. Even if we end up making more money off of it, it might take us longer and we might end up going through more health in the process. Oh, right, I forgot about the top of the bus. Which is actually a cable car. Which is basically a bus, just... It's like if a bus was birthed by a bumper car. Like, ima imagine a bus that works the same as a bumper car. You got those wires and tracks hung up all over the city. Last time I was in the city, I think. Um, oh, fuck. Or one of the last times. Uh, there was... There was a cable car that was... <clears throat> So, like, they're not just, like, on the cable up top and, like, on, like, with wheels on the bottom. Uh, there's, like, a, a slotted track on the ground uh, that has, like, the, the car is slotted into, right? And uh, it, it moves along that. La one of the last times I was in the city, there was a, a car that was, it had tried to come around the corner near like a McDonald's or something and oh boy and they were doing construction in the area or like renovations at the McDonald's I think actually and so there was one of those big um, dumpster bins outside it was one of those big steel dumpster bins uh, out front and it had been left like on the curb but like mostly on the road and it was sticking out far enough that the, um, 
the cable car like smashed into it like it, it it smashed like halfway through over the front of the the cable car there and it, it just it couldn't make it past right and this was of course like late at night i was there for a show for a for a concert i was seeing um we we came out of the venue and this fucking thing it was just like stuck on the dumpster and like we we groaned and we laughed because like it's funny because you know that it's not getting anywhere like you know that that's not getting fixed because the the bin is not going to get moved until the construction crew comes back in the morning um but it's not funny because you know that there are people who are on that that bus who are trying to get home and now they have to walk or or take another bus and like i imagine if you take that if you have like a specific bus route mapped out right like that you take every day do you take the other lines all that often do you know the routes of the other buses and their schedules and everything i certainly didn't Every, every time I have to, like, take a bus for work or anything like that where I'm, like, taking it repeatedly, um, on, on, like, a daily basis or whatever, I, I learn, like, what number my bus is, um, what it's, where its stop is relative to where I need to go, and what times it shows up to the closest stop to my house uh, I don't memorize like it's a route or the other buses and their schedules and their routes right now it might be a little different living in the city as I do not and my uh, my travel is not nearly as dependent on public transit as it would be otherwise While I, while I do have to walk most places, um, save for when my mother is kind enough to give me a lift. Because um, she's the best like that. Uh, like, everything around here is, like, within walking distance, right? Everything is uh, reachable on foot. It's not like groceries are halfway across town. I mean, they are right but there's i don't know how many grocery stores in between here and there <clears throat> like the farthest grocery store that i could reasonably walk to um and like make it home with a load of groceries is probably like 20 minutes away 20 20 25 minutes away tops um but there's also how many other grocery stores in between? One, two, three, four, five. Counting in my head as I map out the town in my <laughs> in my dome. Um, five? Yeah, yeah. There, there's like five grocery stores <clears throat> in between my home and the farthest one that I could go to. So it's not like it's it's not like travel is like as dependent on um, on public transit as it is like in the city, right? Hey, look at that! I got money for breaking the things before time ran out. See, we're doing much better this time. We did die. We did die once. That's okay. <clears throat> It's fine. That too is fine. Why can't I pick it up? Because I was not on it. Oh shit. Oh, you fuckers. 
Why was I on fire? Oh, because those other guys were on fire. Yeah, sky attack. Ah, oh, fucking fireballs. Ooh! Take you out first, scorpion. You. Don't you know it's rude to interrupt a lady when she's wailing on a guy? Especially when she's been shot with fireballs by said guy. Oh. Fucker. God damn it. Oh, yeah. Being on... Being flanked like that is not great. Ah. Oh. So, one of the attacks we picked up is the, uh, the jumping triangle attack. And it's like a, it's a dive kick. It's straight up a fucking dive kick. And if there are multiple enemies there, you can just, like, bounce off of them. Just bounce off one after the other. Oh no! Don't fall on the floor! See, that one guy fell on the floor and now he's dead. Now he's dead gone. Oh no, I got flanked real hard again. But now they are dead. Dead. No, they're just knocked out. Knock you into the hole. Yeah, I, ah, there we go. And the other one just walked in. That's what you get. That's that's what you get for walking into the hole. Is is being in a hole. Is what you get. Ha! Yeah. Hiya. Oh. Side of the face, god damn. That, uh-oh. I fell in a hole. Ah, you fell in a hole. I think that's a store. Yes, it is. Ramen, udon, tempura vegetables, tempura shrimps, kushiyaki moriwase. Uh, duh. God, I really wish it would tell us what they all do. But in terms of upgrading stats, we're... Oh, fuck. We're not gonna worry to... Oh, that's what the stains on the floor are. We're not gonna worry... About, uh... Ooh. Not gonna worry about that. We're not gonna worry about, uh, picking up stats. As we will... Oh, shit. As we will get what we need... From, um, Wallace's shop. There we go. Was it just the one flock of pigs? Yes, flock of pigs. Come on. Ah, there we go. Come on, you pigs. I know there's gotta be more of you. There's gotta be, right? Yeah, like that. See, a whole flock of pigs. They're like flocks of seagulls, but their hair is better. Is that all of the quarters? All of the quarters I can gain from this subspace highway? God, this place is cool. It's like, uh, it's like Rainbow Road, which is probably what it's actually supposed to be. Because Scott Pilgrim is just rife with video game references. Or homages. Oh no, oh no! Oh no! You fucking, you shit. You shit ass bitch ass shit. That's what I think of you. Get the money. Get the money! And then go back this way. Can I go back this way? No, I cannot. That's okay. I'm gonna take. Ooh. I'm gonna pick this up. And I'll use it to defeat you. Yeah, I will. Look at that. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. He's not taking damage anymore. You know they're dead when they stop taking damage. Uh, 
Aha! Oh, shit. Man, what is that guy doing over there? Just, like, hanging out. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, damn it. Let me get back over the bridge. I want to I wanna take this... I want to take this guy out. With my hammer. Big hammer. Swing my purse at him. The purse is really the best weapon to fight any enemy with. I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, women tend to keep magical bricks in their purse. In their purses, which are um, unfindable by uh, by males who uh, who are asked who, who who happen to go through, and uh, they they add a tremendous weight. They add tremendous weight and hardness and force of swing to the purse. Um, I don't know what it is. <clears throat> I don't know what it is, but like every girl I've ever known who's like carried a purse or a bag of some sort um, has just had like the heaviest bags. And and I'm like, what? what is in there? What do you keep in this? And it's just like clothes and makeup and their wallet and shit. And I'm like, how does it weigh so much? Why does it all weigh like a fucking cinder block? Where is the magic brick that I'm not seeing? Now, Ramona's purse um, is like a bag of holding. It's got its own like pocket dimension. So it could actually very well have um, an entire quarry uh, of bricks. It could have a whole brick yard uh, tucked away in there. For all we know. Now this is a little jank. <clears throat> this is a subspace highway that's all like monochrome and shit. Now we want to bust these blocks. I'm going to bust the other ones from the other side first. Oh no, the pigos! Get them, Ramona! No, we're fast, but not that fast. Fuck. I wanted to destroy these. Wanted to get them real quick. ka -ching. Yeah, look at that, look at that. Look at all them monies. Look at all them monies. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> One problem with the movement speed is that, like, you move so far so quickly that you can't... Like, it's harder to jump on top of the blocks like that. Yeah. Much more difficult. You gotta, like, tap it on the D-pad. You can't, like... You swing too far real easy on the stick. Real easy to swing too far on it. Oh boy, come on, get that last one, get that last quarter. There we go. Hit that one, and we're gone. Ramona's backyard! Alright, let's do this. Let's pick up a... Let's pick up the garbage. Let's pick up the fucking trash can. Roxanne Richter, Rona's fourth evil ex-boyfriend. Girlfriend. Some ninja. She's getting beat with a fucking trash can. And they were all decoys. Oh man, her katana is like a whip sword. That's cool. Yeah, we do tremendous amounts of damage now. Not as much as we would if we had um, maximum strength and speed, but yeah. Oh, it's like whole piggy banks. It's like whole piggy banks. We made so much from that. 
Area clear. Yeah, you should you should see how fast the uh, the first boss fight is against Matthew Patel. We just stomp his rectum right out on the street. Do 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 So hey So we've got the big shortcut open there now and now We only have fifteen health and sixty guts. I think if we're gonna go fight what's his face there We should get some food or heal or something. You know what? Why don't we go? Th why don't we try and go through here as quick as we can? We'll go through. Uh, we'll go through level five. Let's see what that does for us. Night of Terror. The twins are unstoppable. A. Hey, so this. Oh, she doesn't like us getting aggressive with her. So I found out that that lady is not Scott's sister, but her friend or his friend, in fact. I forget her name, Julie thing, I think maybe. Julie or Julia. Hey, look at that. Is that a subspace something? It is indeed. It is indeed a subspace something or other. Where are the pigos? There are no pigos. Oh, uh, oh, uh, eh, oh, hey, there we go. So I don't know why this one just runs through a school. I'm, I'm not sure why this runs through what is clearly like a high school. Man, fucking everything about high school was shitty, but I will say lockers are fucking cool. I do like the idea of lockers. Um, like, just, like, not, like, a nice tall metal box to hang up, like, your coat and your bag, and maybe put your boots in at the bottom, or whatever. I've always wanted a locker at home. For, uh, like, like just, like, to put my backpack and, and shit in, right? I also like the idea of, like, a steamer trunk. But they're they're so old, and like every time you find one nowadays, they're like I don't know they're missing the key and they're falling apart. And we actually have one sitting out um, in the uh, in the other room there. Um, there was a, a house cleaning that had to be done, um, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Long story doesn't matter. Um, but, like, the one that we have is actually, like, in decent condition, and as I take, a like, a closer look at it, I realize it's, I don't know, it's, like, it's not as cool as they seem, like, in, in movies and whatnot. I mean, they're cool, but, like, they're, they're old. They're old, right? But he'd actually be better off with, like, a, like, a tupper, like, a big Tupperware that seals really nicely. Which is not as cool, but I mean, like, functionally speaking. Ooh. I really like the idea of steamer trunks because, like, they're so big, like... Like, I know they're meant, like, to keep, like, your clothes and, and, you know, important shit in, right? Like, but, like, you could, like, you could live out of a fucking steamer trunk. You could fucking live out of one of those. Like, people who, um, people who, like, backpack, right? Who, uh, who go out on, um, 
who basically like live on the trails and whatnot. Um, like those people live out of their bags, right? They live out of their fucking backpacks, which have like a quarter of the capacity of a, of a fucking steamer trunk. So like you consider all the extra shit you keep with you in one of those big boxes. Then again, it's a lot more difficult to transport, right? You would need like a dolly or a cart or something to, to haul one of those around with you everywhere. Oh man, I don't even care about the money that disappeared. That was a big ass combo. 173 hits. I think there's a, an achievement for... Oh! For getting a really high uh, combo. Like, like, two, 250 hits or something like that, right? And there's a specific place uh, where you can, like, gather up a bunch of enemies in the corner and combo them like that. Yeah, this is a cool place. This is a really cool, uh... This is the level I thought uh, stage three was. I thought Leo's place was this place. Um, this is just like a loft apartment, I guess. Leo's place is actually like a bar or a venue, it looks like. Uh, but this, I think, is like just a, like somebody's loft apartment. Oh no! Bouncing around between the pumpkin dudes. Oh no, back up everybody. Ramona doesn't want none of it. She's telling you guys no. And, and you, all these... All these weird guys harassing uh, Ramona. Be like, hey baby. And she's having to fight them off with her fists and like throwing kegs at them and shit. And there's all these people around watching just like laughing and and clapping yeah yeah you fight those harassers robot one join the party robot one invented by the twins size small robot one can get fucked and in fact it did robot one got super fucked go go outside on the fire escape. There he goes. There's Gideon. Gideon, the, um... He's like a... He's like a pimp or whatever that the Hold Steady sings about, right? God, I love the Hold Steady. They're so weird. I, I shared, uh, what was it? Knuckles, I think, with the uh, with uh, Hyde, as like one of the first things like I ever showed him by the ho the hold steady, and he sat there listening to it like straight faced, and it finished, and he said, you know, I I would be more than happy if I never heard that ever again in my life, <laughs> and I totally get it. I totally get it. It's it's like awful all things considered but that's why i love it because it's oh, it, it hits the ears so weird craig finn's like talk singing is just the weirdest sounding shit it's almost like anxiety do inducing listening to craig finn uh like fucking talk sing almost makes me like just like tense okay uh filet mignon finest cut of beef fuck yeah what does that what does that get us fucking snacks uh, oh scott's dad barbecue sorry i was reading the wrong thing heart points 200 gut points 200 oh that's like a big refill experience 15 willpower three and strength plus two okay all right 
Anything else? Hmm. Could I take one of these with me? Is that what you would like? To go? Yes. I don't know what it's gonna do. I don't know. Health plus 40 and guts plus whatever. That's cool. That's what I wanted. I wanted something to go that would heal me. I don't know how it activates. Or when you make that happen. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, I think the best thing here is not to fight these guys at all. But to just walk past them. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. These stairs are getting smashed, bro. Rooftops. Rooftop. 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 Super fighting robot invented by the twins. Size maximum. Alright, let's fuck this robot up after we fight this pumpkin guy. Okay, so we, we just gotta beat the hands, right? Beat the hand that used to feed us sexy? Sexily? I don't know. Like, blood stains all over the ground? Is there already blood all over the roof? The roof. Oh, man. Oh. Get up and whirl, Ramona. Yeah, kapow. Is that one defeat? I think one is defeat. I think his left arm- Oh, shit! We'll just let him do his thing. I don't think I was, like, supposed to survive that. Wait for the- wait for it. Oh! So blocking doesn't work. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Yeah, 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 I thought so, yeah. There it goes. Is it defeat? Dragon's Den. Ooh, it's like a different area. I wonder, will I be able to come back into this area? After I lose, or... Oh, shit. So when you bust the statues, they melt all over the stone uh, pedestals there. That's... Ooh. But some of them melt into money. I can totally get on board with that. Shit. Come on, get the doggos first, and then get the big guy. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Nope, get out of here. There we go. Now, is that... Yeah, those are spikes at the bottom. Wonderful. Oh, right. Ah, I see. I knew there would be bats. This level screams bats. Bats will come. Yeah. So that's our tech attack. The, uh, the cartwheel stomp. Oh no. I got smashed over the back of the head with a jar. Womp womp. And no, I'm not able to continue, huh? Okay, well, fortunately, uh, 328, not quite enough to pay off Scott's late fees yet. But we can go back in here with full lives, and maybe that'll make a difference. Now, we'll start, we'll take these guys out. And we'll take out that piñata. 
and then we will go through the door and then come back just as we did the last time <clears throat> that guy's dead why won't you die robot man mr. roboto hiya where'd it go oh it turned into money that's good that's wonderful I got the money into the secret store <clears throat> oh wait no it's not a secret store it's a hallway it's a hallway full of quarters mm, yes full of wonderful quarters I can do so much laundry now look at it look at it. I can do so much laundry god laundry mats fucking suck I remember having to do our laundry at the laundromat um, we used to live in an apartment and luckily the laundromat was only like just across the street so um, like it wasn't that far to go between loads and everything um, you don't got to bring all the laundry with you at once just bring over like one load at a time but uh, still like having to go over do the laundry across the street and like you can't forget that it's over there and you gotta like always be watching it and having to have change to go in and do it every week and ugh. god that fucking sucked the laundromat itself wasn't too bad it was run by this nice lady um who I think had some other business in the back. Uh, but it was also attached to, um, like, a fucking diner, like a restaurant, uh, which, really great fries in there. Um, yeah, good place to go in and eat. Um, not, not a bad place, the laundromat itself. Uh, and it was, it was a very small town, uh, so there wasn't a whole lot of people there all the goddamn time a lot of machines and like odds are that there's probably like at least one other person or, or family or whatever in there doing their laundry at the same time but it's not like there's a ton of people in there and it's not like there's like a ton of creeps in there all the time going through people's laundries in the machines and whatnot disco balls rolling through oh man they just exploded from that kick bam uh, get the dollar get the loony we can use all these coins at gumball machines for various prizes are they prizes or is that just like sales and economics for children? Like children can't be trusted to make a purchase at a cash register with like, I don't know, like actual like increments of money and, you know, be trusted to get change and all that, right? Um, but like, you can be expected to know that like, the yellow coin has the birdie on it and that goes into the machine that says that has the same yellow coin on it with the birdie on it like do you want a sticker or do you want like a or do you want a homie because one's gonna cost you a quarter one's gonna cost you a loony Like, it's not exactly like... I mean, it is kind of, uh... Like a prize, I guess. If you want to consider gumball machines gambling. In the sense that you, like... You put in a coin... Hoping to get one of the things that you want. Unless you're just looking to get something out of it, right? Just something in general. 
I like gumball machines. I think they're cool. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like I'd love to have a gumball machine that... Like, I fill with, like, little... You, you gotta fill it with the capsules, right? So they it fits through the machine properly. But you fill the capsules with, like, little... Like, cool little gumball machine-type toys. Um, and every once in a while, you, like... You, you put a quarter in, and you do the thing. And the toy pops out. And you play with it for, like, five seconds, right? And then pop it back in its bubble, and then pop it in a hole in the, in the top. And just recycled the toys over and over again until the the change basin gets full or whatever and then you take that money and you use it to buy better toys for your gumball machine or upgrade to like a claw machine or a, or like a vending machine or something that'd be cool that'd be cool i mean kind of a weird concept to like pay to access your own shit i guess But, cool. I like it. I like the idea. Oh, god damn it. I like the idea of having, like, a claw machine in the house, like, full of just stuff for fun, right? That'd be a really cool thing, like... Like, if you had, like, a, like a, a stuffed animal collection or something, um, like an Amiga Rumi collection or whatever, like I have, um, that'd be really cool. Like, keep them displayed in, like, a claw machine, right? Or not even, like, a real claw machine, but, like, you, you, could, uh, you could set them all up inside what looks like a claw machine, like, just, like, a box with the windows, and you could hang a claw from the top and put a little, like, a joy pad on, on the front. You don't have to wire it up and hook up a, a real mechanism or, or a coin slot or anything. But I feel like a, uh, a claw machine themed display case would be really cool for stuffed animals. That's a free idea. You guys are free to take that and, like, do that for your kids or, or whatever. fire escape we have to we have to escape out the loft apartment the cool loft apartment where the awesome party was happening I like this uh, business skeleton here B business skeleton is here for for serious business he doesn't have time for pumpkin guy shenanigans. Hey, pumpkin guy, I wanted those reports yesterday. Why are you here at this party? Why are you here, boss? That's none of your fucking business. You don't ask me questions. They're starting to look like... Like, with the number of them, and them all be like... I don't know if it's because I've been like into the Yakuza series lately, uh, or, or what, but, like, all of these guys in suits, wearing matching suits and masks, like, they all give off the vibe of, like, they're all different, um, they're all different families from, uh, from the same clan. These, these are, like, different, f these are the Halloween families of the Tojo clan. They go out and they do their business in masks. Like Hanya Man. Let's get the kebab. What's it do? Heart points 50, XP 10, strength 2. Cool. Let's get that tropical punch again. And get it to go. And then we'll go. Go, 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 go. Get onto the fire escape so we can go up it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, go up, go up, go up, go up. 
No time to stop and fight the Halloween Yakuzis. Yeah, there's there's the pumpkin family and the robot family. The skeleton family. Spoiler alert. You're looking at the skeleton family patriarch. I would I would totally lead the skeleton family. We we would be the most honorable Yakuza skeletons. We would be like good guy Yakuza skeletons. Who are who are always out to help the downtrodden. I'm really digging this idea, like, I've been watching a playthrough of Like a Dragon recently, and Ichiban's obsession with, like, old-school Yakuza who, who hold, like, honor above all else, um, but still being a decent person and wanting to help those in need while applying his Yakuza code, it's, like, it's such a... It's such an interesting dynamic, and I, I fucking love it. Because, like, you think Yakuza, you think, like, oh, crime family, right? Like, organized criminals. But, like, you gotta remember that, like, a lot of the old, um... Like, a lot of the old Yakuza families have roots, um... Like, dating back to, like, old samurai times. Like, a lot of them, like, coming from old, old samurai families. Um, so, like, like, they're, they're a lot more, like, stand-up than you would think, right? I mean, not to put, like, a, not to put, like, a crime family on a pedestal or anything like that. Um, but, like, in terms of, like, honor among criminals, like, you're more likely to find it there than anywhere else, it seems. And, like, Ichiban really seems to um, exemplify that, or, or personify that in a, in a lot of ways. Of course, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt that case when like literally every single side quest in that game is some poor me sob story where somebody is in trouble and needs help the the escalation of side quests is the exact same for every side quest in that game It seems to go, it seems to go from, hey, what's going on here, to, I'll kill you, to, well, you see, it all started back when the trouble happened. Oh, no, oh, I tried to wait and be cool about it. I was not. Ah ha ha! We just skipped that whole fucking little platform there. Screw it. You guys think you're tough. You guys think you're tough hanging out in, in your Yakuza Tower. Those guys- oh man. So this is probably totally like a Yakuza Tower. This is probably like Millennium Tower. And these guys are actually probably like Canadian Tojo Clan. Uh, <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, damn it. Which means that the guys at the party probably were masked Yakuzis. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why? Why? Haha, <laughs> just like that. Just like that. I did it. I did a real good first try. Fucker. Fucker son of a bitch. 
Well, eat shit then, why don't you? Can I, am I safe? I'm safe standing on top of, nope. No, I am not, never mind. Do I have to continue? No, just wait for it. Wait for it. Okay, that guy is totally, that's totally a dude, right? You guys, you guys are seeing this dude here and that other dude who are clearly dudes. They're clearly dudes. I couldn't hit them. Ugh, get out of my way, you fuckers. Your suits are all the same. It's like a uniform, but it loses points for coolness. You guys should all have your own bespoke suits. <laughs> One really interesting thing I've learned uh, getting into the Yakuza series recently uh, that just fucking tickles me pink that I didn't quite realize before. Um, growing up, I always... Uh, was like everybody always said like oh well you know like they cut their fingers off because like for their sword grip and and things like that right um and like i've heard different reasons for the whole finger thing um all kinds of different reasons a lot of them have to do with like uh holding like your sword or whatever better um but as it turns out you cut your finger off as like an apology like to show remorse or to to save face as it's uh as as it's like is e most easily referred to yeah you 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 see yakuza with a missing finger that's that's cuz he fucked up that's cuz he did something bad <laughs> He made a mistake on the job. Look at this guy just laughing at his brother getting his ass kicked. Oh, the fight hadn't even started yet. These are the fifth and sixth ex-boyfriends. And one of them's almost dead already. Oh, what are you gonna- oh. Oh, are you gonna double team me now? Please don't. Please no, not uh, not on screen, not right now. Don't don't double team Ramona in front of everybody here. Please no, not on the not on the rug. Don't don't give her the rug burns. What are you doing? Fuck off, loser. Both of you fuck off. Is he? Oh, yeah. So one goes down and the other one tries to revive him. And then they burst into, what? Souls? Angry, angry souls? Doesn't matter. We fucking killed him. Killed them both. Dead. Real good. Dead. So if that's the fifth and the sixth, then that means there's only one evil X left. That means there's only one evil ex-boyfriend left to defeat. We're ready. Oh, who's that? Who's that evil dude? And why does Ramona look all, like, scared and upset? I don't like it. What's going on here? What is this? Why are they mad at me? What? Why why were my characters mad at me? I don't like that. Like, oh you What did I do though? So there's a level six and then there's a level seven. Don't act like there ain't. What the shit? Oh, it's like Dark Scott? Is that Dark Scott? What the hell is that? I do not remember.
remember this level all that well, or at all, really. I'm, I'm blanking a little hard on this one. I'm, I'm blanking super hard on this one. What level is this? It starts off with a walk through the park, and then it, and then the snow melts into. What the fuck? I don't remember this level at all. I don't remember this at all. What the hell? This is like a... What the hell is this? What the fuck? Hmm. I don't remember this level. I don't I'm I'm looking at this and I'm I'm struggling to remember this fucking level. Cuz like as far as I remember, we went from here Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. As far as I know, um, like it should have gone down to where stage seven is, shouldn't it? I mean, clearly this is the next level, but I... Yeah, I'm looking at it, and I just, I don't remember shit. I don't remember shit about this. Those birds are going to attack me as long as I'm here, it looks like. Okay, gotta, oh, there we go, now it's busted. Oh, they're going to just keep after me, huh? fucking birds. So what, I have to... Oh, now I defeat them, huh? Now I defeat them, now that I have the key. Alright. Just beating owls out in the woods here. What the fuck is this? I don't remember this at all. I have no idea what this stage is. Looking at all these people. What is this? Yeah, because, like, this should have gone into, um, like, a club level or something, shouldn't it? I think? God, they're relentless. Fuck me. God damn. Pick it up. Pick up the key. Jesus Christ, those owls are the worst. The fuck is this? Where am I going? It looked like uh, we were headed like to through a cemetery. Uh, 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 there we go. I'd be curious to know if the different paths... Like, if there's, if there's different paths for this, depending on what character you're playing as. Because, like, I usually do my first playthrough as Scott. Right? And then, um... And then I come in, like, as player two afterwards and, uh, and play Ramona or whoever else. What the hell? Oh, God, I got stuck in my combo. Alright, into the... Into the graveyard, I guess. I'm not remembering this at all. We'll have to... I'll have to check this out afterwards and see what the deal is.
I'm liking it though so far. So it's a it's a nice switch from everything else, because everything's been like in the city or um, like in a building or whatever. This is like out in the cemetery, which is interesting. These are, uh, oh, these are like the zombie version of Scott. So these are the version, there's, um, survival horror mode is, uh, I think where you fight a wave of these guys. Oh, I gotta push him into the hole, don't I? Oh, no, damn it. Can I pick him up and throw him? Nope, but I can hit him like that. And then he's dead for real. You gotta kill him twice, and then he's dead for real. Oh, shit. Look at these zombies. There's a lot of zombies here. And, a, and some Yakuza skeletons. Oh, fuck. God, yeah, they're just picking themselves back up. I love it. Is that all you got? Brains. Let's get this money before it disappears. m m m money Money. 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 m m m money m m m money Grab- oh, damn it. I got- I got socked by that asshole. Ooh. Fuck. Damn it. Spins! Spins to wins. Wow! That was a strong kick for a dead lady. Don't underestimate a dead bitch. God damn. Yeah, that's right. Get that money. I, do we have to fight these ones? Are, are these ones mandatory or can we just move past them? I think we can actually move past them, yeah. Oh, now we'll have to fight. Right, just combo. Oh, poor zombie gal. That's that's her block is to sit there like with her heads like her hands over her head. That's upsetting. Poor little zombie gal. She's probably riddled with zombie anxiety. You know, depression only gets worse when you're dead. You, you think you think life is hard but when you're a zombie you're like oh man I have eternity to look forward to this shit and if my body wasn't slowly getting sh like shittier before I mean oh boy now you've got the decay These guys just actually have their brains hanging out. I mean, that's got to make life hard. Ooh. How many hits? How many hits can we get on this one guy? On this one dude? Alright. Oh, shit. There's more dudes. I wasn't expecting a regular dude to just walk in off camera there. Can I go? No. No go. No go from here. Get in that hole, why don't you? Yeah! Yeah, get her in the hole. Problem solved. That's probably what I was supposed to do with the other guys. Instead of beating them to death. Or to undeath. I don't know. Eerie Forest. Oh no, it's... Nega Scott. 
Scott Pilgrim's evil twin. Cool. I don't... I don't remember this being a boss in the original version. Is this, like... Was this done for the new version? Was this done as a DLC that I never played? Oh, shit, he does Hadoukens. He does fucking fireballs. Look at that. Asshole. That asshole. Oh, man. He's getting me while I'm trying to recover. Oh, you fucking dick. Yeah, let's get him. Let's try to get him. Oh, oh. What a tough SOB. Oh shit, the block didn't work. But that turnip shattered on him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no, get him like that in a combo again. Come on. Ah, oh, you whore. You filthy whore. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna knee you in the face. Jump kicks for days. Tell, tell me what you're gonna do about it. Oh, he's gonna shoot fireballs. That's what he's gonna do. Oh! Oh, you fucker! He got me! He got me real good! He got me real good, he did. Okay, 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 okay. Alright. I see it. I see it. You know what else I see? I see that we have, uh, $474. I see that we got some shit. So. Let's go do a run here, why don't we? Really? We're going back to the first stage bone score? But didn't you already? Yeah. We almost have enough to pay off Scott's late fees. And by the time we get there, hopefully we'll have enough. We should, ideally. And it shouldn't take us too long. Because look at that. I can just juggle fools in the corner here. Oh, this music is the best. You need to fuck off. Yeah, see, we can go through, like, real quick here. It takes nothing. Nothing to kill these fools. I don't know if there's a time readout on the end of this. Is there? What do we get for a readout at the end? We get enemies killed, experience gained, and money collected, isn't it? I don't think there's a... Like a, a ticker. Like a time ticker for how long it takes to finish the level. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Well... Oh, the ball did nothing. Yeah, even the big guys here in the first level we take out with two hits. Oh, I don't know what happened there, but there was like a metallic, like, like shine noise. Like I got a super parry or something. Did I like counter him with my attack? Yeah. 483. We should be able to make up the bulk of it in the subspace highway when we go through, I imagine. I mean, the park we were in in that, uh, that last level looks a lot like the park here. Which is why I was a little confused. I wonder if there was, like, some asset reuse going on there. Yeah, it looks like the same... It looks like the same park. It totally looks like the same park. 
Oh, Jesus. Yeah, luckily we have, um, we have aerial recovery. So as long as we hit, I think it's any button when we're in the air after taking a hit, we can recover and go into a fucking, an aerial attack of our own. Oh, man. Of course, you actually have to be, like, airborne for it to work. If they're just knocking you to the ground like that, it doesn't, it doesn't take effect, I don't think. Oh, he looks just, like, finished. Yep, yeah, nah, he done. Nah, he done. Get back, emo kids. You, sh you should have stayed at home writing poetry. Oh, man. Look at that guy. He came in real hard with that hook. Alright. Through the back ways. Behind people's homes. We're gonna, like, sneak into somebody's garage, I think, to get the subspace highway. Yeah, all right. Get that hyper boost. I think that's what it what it is. I think um like when we drink coffee, we get that boost and it's like you're hyper now. I think it's actually like a boost that we get for being hyper. She gets all excited. And just wants to beat people more. Oh, did I mess up cuz I tried to switch fingers? Damn it. Do, do, do. Subspace highway, here I come. All right, we're gonna do. We're gonna get. We're gonna get the piggos this time. Go through real slow. One tippy tappy, tippy tappy, tappy at a time. Yeah. Oh, look at that. We got all the piggos. Oh. We missed those bottom ones, but we got, like, all those top ones, though. Oh. Get him! Yeah, yeah, you think you can outrun Ramona? You think you can outrun Ramona? Well, Ramona's got news for you. Snowball fight! Jeez. Where's the other dude? <laughs> oh, send them flying. Yeah, oh, that fucking cartwheel kick is really good. Can you catch the snowballs when they do that? I wonder. Probably not, because they're snow. They're made of snow. <sighs> See how strong your guard is when you take a knee to the jaw uh, oh there we go are you done are you done being alive this emo guy's like oh my god I can't believe you're so violent how could you beat up my, my buddy over here yeah, man, that's that's what happens when when you pick fights with people. They fight back. Do, 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 do. Hey, here we are. No account video. That's exactly where we were headed. Do, 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 do. All right, Scott's late fees. Pay those off. So the mystical head. Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, did we get... Oh, we bought one of those, I think. Um, oh, my dinner's ready, so hang on. Uh, I'm going to tab over, I'm going to eat my food, and I'll be back in just a second. Don't go nowhere, guys.
<clears throat> okay. <clears throat> wow. Wah, wah, wah. I am back. I am back. I have my food. I have my food and I am good to go. Let me get a bite of this real quick. Because boy have I been looking forward to this all day. Mmm. Oh, it's fucking dynamite today. God damn. Alright, so we have all this stuff open to us after having paid off Scott's late fees. With the seven Shaolin Masters. They're all five bucks a piece. Classic Kung Fu movie. Uh, let's try it out. Seven Shaolin Masters gives us... Ten defense, strength, willpower, and strength. There's just ten across the board. Um, we've got Aliens vs. T-Rex. That'll give us 20 speed and 20 strength. Uh, we got Alone and Disturbed. 495. Oh, we're just short to get that last one. Which is just 1500 experience. And we don't quite have enough to get the last bit there. So. Let's. Oh. Really, huh? I want to, yeah, there we go. I want to buy the, that last item in there, and then we'll see what our stats are looking like after we get that last item, because I don't know what it upgrades. Let's check it out, though. Yeah, so it shows you there, it's like, oh, Scott's the uh, late fees, but then you click, and you get access. Uh, I love your boyfriend. This gives us 15 defense and 15 willpower. So, what did that give us in terms of upgrades across the board? That gives us 84, 76, 80, and 80. Uh, so we could stand to get... We could stand to get that first one that gives us an upgrade all the way across. Uh, what, three more times? So we need about another $15. We need about another $15 to finish upgrading, and then $5 per life after the fact. So why don't we see how far we can get. Why don't we see what we can get by getting to the end of this stage here, before we go through that uh, star door, and then see if we can't backtrack like a motherfucker. And then I'm sure that should that should give us enough to keep going. God damn it. And if it don't If it don't, we can always come back and do like a full run again, and then that will give us enough. I'm hoping it'll give us enough to go through the level we were on. Right. And then at least try the next level and then when we die we start from frozen suburbs again run through real quick and the money that we'll have will give us plenty for extra lives which believe you me we're gonna want tons of lives when we go into that final fight there even on easy mode it's rather difficult I think get out of here you you shit, you. Yeah, everybody jump down there and fight. Even though I'm up here. Oh, I tried to get out of it. Tried to end my combo so he wouldn't hit me, but... It's no avail. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Fuck smash! It doesn't look like going back for extra lives from here is going to net me a whole lot. We're going to have enough for like two, maybe. Although that might just be enough. Two extra lives might just be enough. 
And we're super fast. Oh wait, we're not uh we're not upgrading our lives yet, are we? No, we have stats to upgrade as well. Hmm, okay. We have enough to get, like, two upgrades. So let's get... The Mystical Head. Yeah, we will. Yeah, well, no, that's the life. We want the seven Shaolin Masters. Yeah, that's a plus ten right across the board. Let's get another one. And that puts us... Oh, did another guy spawn because we came back over here? Yeah, it maxes out at 100. That's great. I thought it would cap at 99. But it caps out at 100. That's cool. Alright. Oh, that guy doesn't like it. Whoops. Hmm. Man, I wonder how far we could backtrack from here. Probably straight to the beginning, I would imagine. Oh, look at how fast we are. Ah. Run, Ramona, run. Did I bring the thing? No, I didn't bring the umbrella or the bat or whatever it was. Oh, god damn the money. Oh, she's so fast. She's so fast, like, I can't even control it. It's, oh, man. Oh, that's, that's rough. Oh, she's slipping and sliding. If you're not careful. Oh no. Oh no. Bing 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 Can we uh there we go. And can I get that one as well? Yep. Oh tons of quarters. I could do so much laundry. So much fucking laundry. Or go to the arcade. But it's been a long time since I've seen an arcade. I don't know where I would find one. dick. Can I beat him before his fucking emo girls come out? Nope. I thought maybe I could if I was fast enough. But I can... Yeah. I can get, I can get them good with like one hit. K.O. Now let's get him, get his money. Stage over. Now we can watch Crash and the Boys like we originally intended. God damn it. Mmm, damn it. You ever think like food plots against you to not be on your fork? I mean, like, of course, why wouldn't, why would it want to be on your fork, right? I mean, you're gonna eat it. Food man. 
Don't trust it. Don't trust your food. It's wily. It's on your fork one minute and then it's not. Alright, I'm coming for you this time. Coming for you this time, Evil Scott. There we go. So when we go back next time, we'll at least have enough for five. We're gonna have enough for, a, like, a ton of lives when we go back. Like, if we're lucky enough to beat this level on this run... Which I don't know that we will, given that we started with such low health. Yeah, we almost need to, like... We almost need to, like, prep... And go, like, do what we, do what we just did, like, uh, do a whole level, and then, um, back, like, do the whole first level, and then backtrack all the way to the beginning. Backtrack all the way to the beginning, or, like, to the, the fucking shopping district so that we can get food. And then, like, heal all the damage that we took. Make sure we get our lives. What the fuck? God damn it, you stupid... Where are they, badgers? I like badgers. Badgers are, badgers are probably my favorite animal. Badgers are my spirit animal. Badger don't give a fuck. Badger's like, what's that? You, you've got, like, all kinds of, like, naturally evolved defense mechanisms? Fuck it. I don't like the way you looked at me, Snarl. And the rest of the world is like, Badger, you realize you're like, threatening a lion, right? And that you, you're you still embedded with porcupine quills from the last fight you had? And he's like, yeah, whatever. Whatever, who cares? What are you saying? Because he's bigger than me, that means something? Fuck you. <laughs> Badger is like the most ornery animal ever. Oh man, I threw the key at myself. And though I managed to hit the elf, I only got one dollar from it. I only got one dollar from the dollar gnome. The fucking dollar gnome. That sounds like some sort of like bullshit tooth fairy ripoff. Like, Timmy, if you're a good boy, the dollar gnome will come visit you. <gasps> really? Who, what's the dollar gnome? Well, he sneaks into your room and he leaves a dollar under your pillow at night. That sounds fucking creepy, Mom. I don't like that. Just, just wait till I tell you about the lady who does it, but like she takes your teeth. And Timmy starts, like, hyperventilating. Pissing himself. See, that's how you deal with the zombies. That's that's how we're going to try to deal with them this time. You are a... Oh. Bad skeleton. Bad skeleton. So it was the skeletons I needed to defeat... In order to move on, not the Zambi, the Zambambis, the Zimbabwe's. Okay, okay, let's let's get you guys lined up here. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Get you lined up with the grave. I want to just bash you all into the grave. And this seems to actually be working really well. Bounce them off the side of the screen into the fucking hole. Oh, the fucking zombie with the chokehold. Oh. Yeah, into the hole, all of you. Unfortunately, the money is also going into the hole with them. Eerie Forest. 
Now it's time to fight the guy, the Scott. Negative awesome. Okay, let's see what you got this time, bitch. I'm well aware. Oh, the Zambi. The Zambi come to fight, too. Huh? Oh. Oh, I didn't think that they would... I didn't think that the zombies that I neglected to kill would come to fight. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, get up. Get up, girl. Oh, God. I'm watching the fucking flash on him, and i mistaking him for my character. You fucker. You fucker. And I can't block that because of the fire. Oh, get him. Oh, okay -o. Okay, oh. That awkward moment when you've beat the level and you know you beat the level, but the game doesn't know you beat the level. And you're just waiting for it to be like, oh, oh, you're fi oh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, with a cloud of evil exes hanging over the city, Scott feels more inadequate than ever. Will he ever stop being compared to Ramona's exes? Find out in the exciting conclusion of Scott Pilgrim might have a smaller dick than seven other guys, including one girl. Which, I mean, I don't know. I mean, just, you, I don't know, you know, I just, I don't know. Battle at the Chaos Theater with, with Gideon Graves. That beat. I want to return to the map. I want to. I want to return to the map. I want to return to the map because we need to do another run. We need to do one more run for lives. We need to do one more quick run through level one so we can get that money for them lives. And oh, right, we also have to get that last upgrade too for our defense of all things. Which I say confusedly because, like, the entire time we've been upgrading shit, like, defense is the one thing that, like, every item seems to upgrade. So it's like, you want to upgrade your strength? Oh, you're upgrading your defense, too. You want to upgrade your speed? Oh, you upgrade your, your defense as well. Which I guess is okay. Like, that's actually, like, really good in the grand scheme of things. It's one of the reasons why, I like, um... The upgrade system in Dark Souls, um... I don't know if it's consistent across all the games. It was at least there in two that we just finished yesterday. Um, but, like, it doesn't matter what you put points into. Um, it seems that, like, any level up is going to give you points into uh, health. It seems that, like, specking into health will give you a significant boost, like 10 points or whatever. But specking into, say, um, intellect... To do more magic damage will also give you like one or two points of health. Uh, which, you know, might not add up 
all that much, but I mean, at the end of the day, like, it's, it's better than nothing, right? Yeah, I think, I think getting free defense upgrades alongside all your other upgrades is pretty decent. But, like, it, it leads us to, to here, to now, where, like, it's, it's a little ironic that we're behind in defense now. Not sure how to feel about that. And even $79, we're gonna have so many extra lives. We're gonna be able to die and die and die and die and die and die, and that's probably all the dying we'll be able to do, because we only can afford so many lives. But still, that many times we'll be able to die before getting a game over. Oh, yeah, juggle the bottle against his face. That's the best. Oh. That's how you use a baseball bat. You throw it. You throw the bat, right? And then you hold the ball... And you use the ball to try and swat the bat away from you. That's that's how baseball is done, right? Like as you swat away the bat, you also have the uh, the baseman from all three bases. Um, they they start on the mounds and then they just leap into a full feral sprint on all fours as as they charge you. To tackle you to the ground, uh, you get points for evading the uh, the baseman and for uh, knocking any of them away with the bat as well. This is all last time I, I checked on baseball. They could have changed things since then, but uh, as far as I know, that's what. Uh, that's how you play America's Favorite Pastime. Is that's that's what they call it, right? Baseball is America's Favorite Pastime? Or is that like outdated slash inaccurate? Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get ready to moita some piggos. Gonna tippy toe through real real slow. real slow till you get the dough then it's like oh no oh. all right mm, mm. where you going pigo where you think you going where you think you gone is huh this way snow ball fight Fight the snowballs. I heard them snowballs was talking shit about you earlier, man. They they were saying like they were saying you didn't look nearly as good as you thought you did in that new dress of yours. Them snowballs was talking mad shit. I think you should fight them snowballs. Oh oh. Oh he moved out of the way. Ha ha ha, I got you. Ass hat. Uh -huh, your throws can't reach this far. You gotta watch as I beat your buddy. And then I clotheslined him with a snowball so hard he died. That's the dangers of snowball fights. I mean, that's why we're not, we were not allowed to th uh, throw snowballs at school. Because, like, a couple of kids picked up snowballs that had ice in them. And threw them at kids who subsequently got their faces cut open by the ice and had to go to the hospital. And then, nope, nope, no more snowballs. At first it was like, okay, we're like, we're asking kids not to throw snow. Like, make sure it's got no ice, like, don't pick it right, like. And then it straight up turned into, okay, this is like a school board wide thing. We're making it like 
illegal in school to throw snowballs. Not like illegal, like in terms of like the law, but like it was like a. Th this was a new policy that was going like board wide or whatever, right? So we want to get another one of these, the seven Shaolin Masters. And that'll max out our defense and everything else. And then we just want Mystical Head. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we want some Mystical Head. But we're actually going to come back for it. We're going to do what we did last time. And we're going to clear out, and then we'll come back. Because that'll give us a chance to go into... Um, one of the restaurants beforehand and we can grab a health uh, refill get us back up to maximum and we can grab a snack for the road I still have no idea how the snacks work no fucking clue but it doesn't matter because we're almost done with this da -da 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 -da. Yeah, as far as I remember, um, in the original version of the game that I uh, had on the 360, that cemetery level was not there. At least not in the base game. It, like, it could have been like a DLC thing, it could be something I failed to unlock, like a secret thing. Uh, but that was a stage that I have no memory of doing before, and I played this a lot. Despite not knowing a bunch of the mechanics and how a bunch of it works, I played the shit out of this game and I did not do that stage at all. It it straight up went from the stage with the twins, you do that robot boss fight, into the fight that we're doing. The, the cutscene that we got at the end of that last stage where uh, there was like the cloud with the evil X's looming over the city. Um, that's the cutscene you got at the end of the level where you fight the twins. And you would just roll into the next stage. Or not roll into it, you'd go back to the map and you'd be able to go over and select the new stage, right? But like yeah, it would go it would go from the twins into Gideon's club. Alright, you're the last one, Fatso. And now you're dead, right? Tell me you're dead. No, he's alive still, somehow. Now he's dead. And now we can head back to the shopping district. <laughs> Let's head into D's Tex Mex. Because I think they're going to have more more uh fucking fajitas why not 180 and 180 and that's about as good as it gets i think all right so let's get out of there let's go into delicious cup Ooh, delicious cup let's get us an iced latte no let's get us a hot let's get us an iced latte to go? No. Gives us 56 heart, 16 guts. Okay. Uh, then I would like one of these to go. Thank you for my iced latte. I will take that to go. And then I'm going into the video store, and we're just gonna buy it. We're just gonna... We're gonna pay top dollar for Mystical Head. We're going to pay top dollar for all the head you could ever want at $5 a pop. Now you'd think, you'd think, ooh, $5 for head. That doesn't, that doesn't sound all that great. And mystical head. I mean, you'd think that there'd be like an additional charge for mystical head. Oh, the item is sold out, huh? Can I only get so much head? I can only get so much head at one time. 
Is it that I can only get so much head at one time, or she can only give so much head at one time? I mean, I just want to be—I want to be sure, right? Um, so I know what to complain about. Uh, I need to—I need to tweet angrily at Brian Leo Malley like this: "This girl in the coffee shop, she doesn't give enough head." I, I pay, I saved up all the, I fought dudes all over the city to earn money for mystical head, and this girl is not giving me enough head. Mystical or otherwise, if, if I've got money for head, I should, I should be able to, I should be able to cash in on that. Who wouldn't want to give Ramona as much head as she could afford? Right? Who who wouldn't who wouldn't want that? I guess. Right? Look at her. She cute. She got a, she got a cute sprite. She got those booty shorts on. She got that bounce to her bosom. And it is like an, a subtle, classy bounce. It's not like a like a vulgar flop. Like the uh, like the other ladies. Yeah, Ramona's got like a nice perky bounce. And she's got those cool goggles too. Ramona's the main character of her own anime. You you know it to be true. Why else would she have goggles on her head? That's totally a main character of anime thing. You Oh, trying to charge up your Hadouken, huh? Oh. Oh, you see, you got one hit in. Oh, man. God, his girls did more damage to me. Like, his fucking ads did more damage than he did. Pathetic! Catchatory is catch a devoured. Okay. Now let's go back to where we were. Chaos Theater Elevator. It's time. Battle at the Chaos Theater. What kind of weird ass club is this? Like the whole floor was padded, and then the elevator, there's like a freight elevator that just drops down into the basement. Oh. What the fuck is this? Why is why is there a time limit? Is it gonna blow up? If I don't get down there quick enough? Hooray! I fell off and did damage to myself. Yep, there we go. Oh. I was hoping I'd knock him off like his buddies. Get out of here, bitch. You as well, bitch. You too. All, both of you. All both of you. Fuck off. God damn, son. Fuck. Yeah, you eat shit. I seen you do it. I seen it. Ah, fucker. They just backed up off the edge on their own. Oh, no, careful. Careful. 
Don't fall off now. Don't fall off now, you hear? Oh, look at you all. Look at you all. All shitty and whatnot. Oh, damn it. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Move. Need to break that claw. And all the money just falls. Ooh. <clears throat> yeah, there we go. That's an easy solution. Just whirl them off. But how many floors are there to this elevator? Why is it like this? Oh, you shits. Of course one of you had the sense to block. Only one of you, though. The rest of you are morons. Oh, fuck. The flanking. It's always the flanking. Uh huh. Get wrecked. Get. Oh. Fuck, man. Was it, oh, it was just a set number of those. I could have dodged them and then broken everything. Oh, fuck off. Oh, no, damn it. No, I. Damn it. Stay on the elevator. You're not supposed to jump off of it. Ramona, have you never ridden an elevator before? This is my bat. Give me, no, give me the bat. Give me the bat. There we go. There we go. I made it to the bottom. I broke your fucking glass door, you nerd. Pleasure Palace. There he is. Super Gideon Graves, Ramona's seventh evil ex-boyfriend? Powers, I didn't get to read it because it goes way too quick. Christ. Oh, man. He tough. Right. Uh, 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 uh. But he still take damage. Was he dying already? Was that an was that combo and oh no. I think he was just like buffed. That's all. I've got him by the dick. I've got grab him by the dick and punch him in the balls. So, oh, he's invincible when he's like that. I got to get him like that again. I got to grab him in the dick and punch him in the balls. Just reach out and grab them. Call him ma his nuts. like rip the seed f right from him oh man what was that it was cool as what it was I love how like because of his his height all of the combos come out in the dick and like all of the characters that we play as um, are all like the same height so they're all gonna punch at the same height which means that Gideon's gonna get punched in the dick every time. The Berenstein Bears get kicked in the dick. Yeah, I grab him by the dick, punch him in the balls. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, just like that. Oh, it's my bat. Oh no, he's sucking me into his chest. Subspace Highway? His chest is a highway? Ramona, I want you inside of me. She's like, wait. Wait, what? Not, not the other... Wait. You usually ask, wait. Whoa! Speed! Aww. Oh. Speed! Oh man, what what's with the water balloons? Why water balloons? And what the fuck are those? What the fuck are these things? They look like 
brains being carried by some sort of machine thing. Oh, do you see that sword with the heart on it? You see that fucking sword with the fucking heart? I s what the hell is that about? I was trying to jump to the cloud. It wouldn't let me. That's the power of love. That sword right there, that's the power of love. And we're going to use it to beat this big fucking nerd. Gideon Graves, Ramona dated this guy? Power's undefeatable. Yeah, we'll see about that. Oh, man, but the love sword, it does... It's a great weapon. Because we're wielding it for love. No, we, we must wield it for love. Why can't I block with the with the sword? Fucker, god damn it. So yeah, you see why we came in here with so many lives. It's actually ridiculous. God damn it. Fuck, man. So grab the sword, back up. So him being hit by the sword causes him to electrocute himself. But, that doesn't mean that we can't stand here and beat on him. Let's try... Yeah. So that form, the sword is no good. Here, the sword hits him real good. Get him in the heart. Oh, get up, get up, get up. Go and get it. Yeah, you can't block when you have an item in your hand. That sucks. That's probably a standard beat em up thing, isn't it? Oh, fuck. Yeah, just lay into him. Slash his arms to pieces. Cut them up. All those lightning attacks and he didn't hit me once. I can totally... I love that I can get him from here. Oh. Oh, wow. That comeback. Oh, damn it. Oh, you fucker. He's just gonna keep launching me off like that, isn't he? Oh, what a dick. He knows this is it. This is the end. Get him with that big pink sword. That big pink heart katana. Pleasure Palace. Oh no, did I... Did I is the defeat? What? Techno base. Techno base? Okay, this I remember. This I do remember. I remember there's that, like, weird fight against... Against Gideon, and then in his, uh, his... Like, the big monster Gideon. And then there's this. I do remember this stage. Hey! Get out of here. Yeah, defeat them because they're gonna come after you if you don't. Whoops! No, get, no, no, get him with the spin. Yeah, just like that. Oh, fuck. Did, did he just, like, pick up my feet and flip me? Oh, get him. Bust him up. Oh. Didn't expect that. Didn't expect the explosion. But now we know. Now we know that those things do that. Oh, these guys are a pain in the ass because they'll fucking shoot at you from across the stage. 
I remember that. I remember they're a big fucking pain in the ass. Oh, you guys. Oh. Ooh, I wasn't expecting you to get shocked. How about that, huh? How does the- Oh, the jump- The, the jump- the, the, Oh, kick. That's the word. My brain's going the jump jump. The jump jump. No. The jump kick. The jump kick does not work. Or it did not work. They were blocking it. Jump, kick, and run. And... Come on. Oh, Jesus. You're a tough son of a bitch. And now he's dead? Now he's dead. Oh. Oh, we got lucky that we landed on the other side of it. Look at these alien hominid looking motherfuckers. These look like they were made on new grounds. Or, like, by new grounds. Little hominid looking fuckers. Ah. Yeah, they've got very, like, behemoth designs to them. Oh, you robot. You robot. And your ranged attack. These robots, like the, uh, like the plain red and white one there, not the, not the gunners, um, they look like, uh, they look like those weird, like, reading robots that they, they used to make, like, for kids back in the day. Like, um, like you'd slot, like, a card into it or whatever, and it would, like, it'd be like, the cow goes, moo, A is for apple. Like, you guys remember what I'm talking about? Old fucking early developmental toys. That's what these remind me of. The big R on the door for robot. This is the room where we keep them, where we keep all of the robots. Robot storage. Oh, fucker. Yeah, 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 combo. All right. Big guy taken care of. Let's get rid of these things real quick. All right, you guys are next. One jump kick. This level, like, reminds me a lot of the spaceship level in um, Castle Crashers. Reminds me a lot of that fucking stage. Which I think, like, was meant to be, like, a nod at Alien Hominid. I think it was, like, Behemoth um, making a reference to another Behemoth game. And this seems to be, like, a reference to a reference in a game. Uh, 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 uh. It could also be, like, any number of stages in Double Dragon. Neon in particular. Which is another great beat-em-up that we have to play on the channel. We got a lot of good beat-em-ups. We got more good beat-em-ups to play on the channel than I initially thought we would. Which is really good. Really good, because I fucking love these kinds of games. Like, it's the... It's so simple all the way through, right? It doesn't need to be anything extravagant. And the simplicity of it doesn't mean that it's in any way, like, too easy or, or not difficult or anything, right? Because, like, a beat-em-up is pretty much like, a, like the most stripped-down form of a fighting game possible. Um... Like, when you consider, like, the, the reeds and the blocks and the, 
the frame data, match up, right? Like, there's all kinds of things to consider in that line. Oh god, I did nothing but electrocute myself and kill myself. And I, th ooh, what is this? Can I actually go in there? I can too. It's a store! Fighting software, what is that? Enhance your skills. Uh, items sold out. Uh, microwave chicken, energy tank, beef jerky, food pill. There's an E written on the can. It's like a fucking... Yeah, it's like a Mega Man energy tank. This gives us heart points plus 100. That's wonderful. It's a Mega Man energy tank. I love it. That's fantastic. That's just the coolest. Ah, uh, here he is. Gideon Graves, age unknown. Is this the real Gideon? Powers unknown. Oh, uh, he's just a dildo now. Oh, and he's, yeah, he's got the pixel ability. Pixel blade beams. That's so cool. I mean, like, he's got a regular sword, and when he swings it, the fucking pixel waves come out. That's so cool. Like, his sword's not pixely, but the attack is. I really, really like that. That's super stylish. It reminds me a lot of the hard light attacks in, um... In Infamous Second Son. Now, the sword that he uses for that is, like, rather pixely. It's made up of, like, the the light squares. But it still has a really cool look to it. I like this a lot better, though. I like, I much prefer the regular sword with the pixelated attack wave. Ooh. Oh, the pixel wave does damage even when I block, huh? So it's ah, uh, so there's no blocking him, I guess. It's it's just attack. He only seems to be attacking with his sword as well. I'm not seeing any kicks. I'm not seeing any punches. Fuck. God damn. Yeah, just beat him off screen. It's okay. It's okay. Corner trap him. Ooh, ooh. Is he jumping because I'm jumping? Oh, that flash means he's close. That flash means he's close, but I mean, like, how close is close? How many more hits? That was really cool. Very Dragon Ball Z, the back and forth hitting me from both sides. Of course, he's going to have a wake up. Oh, yeah. There she go. Oh, he was a robot. He was a robot. And he exploded. Jesus Christ, man. How many fucking phases is this boss fight? Break him. Yeah. Was that it? Was that the real Gideon Graves? And now I can get out of this. Why am I trapped in that little circle there? Area clear. Ramona killed 63 people. Most of them were. Actually, I think all of them were. Um, robots. No, just most of them. There were all those dudes at the beginning. Got a got experience that didn't matter and money that is superfluous now. Ah, 
Oh, it's got the little map thing on the little circle from the map because of the location. Ah, that's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. And so, despite the struggles that had brought them together, Scott and Ramona knew they had something special. Together, they headed into the future and dicked hard all night long. Ready to invite anybody in for a threesome who might want to join. Congratulations! Da -da -da. Uh. Ubisoft presents. Ah. Uh. Steven Stills. Luke, Lee, Richard. <laughs> uh, based on the Oni Press graphic novels by Brian Lee O'Malley. So, yeah, good, uh, good uh, graphic novel series. It's, um, it looks an awful like it's not pixely, but it's in this same sort of chibi cartoon style. And it's a really good read. It really is. Um, really good story. Really excellent, uh, excellent read. Uh, I think I much prefer um, watching the movie to play, or I much prefer watching the movie to reading the books. But I prefer playing the game to watching the movie. Um, yeah, this is a really fun game. This is this is like one of, if not the best beat em ups of all goddamn time. Uh, there's a lot of other top contenders out there. Uh, Double Dragon Neon, um, Ninja Turtles 2, um, I want to say. Um, oh, I've got it in my head. I'm picturing it, and I just can't fucking. Can't remember what it's called. The, like even like the the like halfway decent beat em ups are still really fucking good, right? Uh, like uh, Ruby Grim Eclipse, I think is a, is a halfway decent beat em up. Um, uh, I've not played um, is it Phantom Breaker, I think. Um, oh, they're just like leaning up against the wall in the yard there, making out. Um, yeah, I've not played, uh, played Phantom Breaker Battlegrounds, I think, but, uh, it looks real solid. It looks like a really solid, um, beat em up and it actually looks like it's, uh, like, inspired heavily by Scott Pilgrim here. Uh, like, it's, it's particular, like, pixel style, it's, uh, it's, like, character proportions and all that. Uh, but, yeah, really, really fucking fun game. I would absolutely love to play through this again. Um, with somebody else here, like, on the couch with me, um, do, like, a nice co-op run through it, um, yeah, this fucking level, I don't remember this level, I have no recollection of that, consumption effect, <laughs> uh, yeah, can't, can't believe that this is back, can't fucking believe this is back. I've been checking on Steam as well lately to see if it's been released on Steam again, and it is not. It is not on Steam yet. Uh, that being said, um, we I do have it on the PlayStation, so as long as I don't delete it, it should be there forever. Uh, I do need to see if I can make a copy of this on uh, like a USB or whatever, just like as a backup, and uh, see about ordering a physical copy from Limited Run Games if they're still doing it. If they're still available by the time uh, I can afford it, but I I would love I would absolutely love to see more games like this. Um, I like I'm always saying I want more beat 'em ups. I want more more beat 'em ups being made. Um, but this particular type of like cartoony, uh, like bright and colorful. Um, style i really like this i really like it a lot there's some beat-em-ups out there um like golden axe uh that's really more 
I mean, yeah, like, it's animated. It's like a... It's like a video game with, like, lighter, more cartoon-centric uh, color palette. But... Eh. Eh, I don't really like the way it looks, you know? Um, this looks a lot better. This, this looks fucking phenomenal. If, if we could get more beat-em-ups, period, or more games done in this simple retro pixel style, that would be fantastic. I don't need the, I don't need the PS5 to have a fucking heat sink the size of my chest, okay? I don't, I don't need that. What I need is more games that run on, like, minimal graphics, they're you can see the pixels in the background texture, right? Like, uh, I, just, I just want more like this. I just want more like this. Uh, potentially with like, oh, potentially with like hyper stylized, um, like character art and, um, like if you're, if there was, um, if there was, like, dialogue in this, and you'd have to have, like, character portraits, you could very easily have just, like, the cartoony, like, Scott face, or you could have, like, a, like, a hyper-detailed, like, Final Fantasy D&D style character portrait or whatever, and sort of try to, like, work that in, in, in some respect. But th this game, um, itself, I, I would just say is perfect as it is, from top to bottom. From mechanics and like everything to do with mechanics uh from like the mechanics themselves um what is in the game what is not in the game um how they function the tightness all of that um the music the level design the level progression the difficulty sliding well there's there's not really a this i would say the scaling difficulty rather uh, how it scales as you go through um there's like overall length of it th this whole game is, is just like perfect in my opinion I could not give this a better score now these credits go on for quite a while as do most credits in any video game I'm wondering oh yeah there we go so I hit the button and we, we finished. We finished. So, yeah. So we can go back in, actually. We can go back into Average Joe. Same difficulty. With Ramona. Level 16. And the whole map is open now. Final stage, Techno Base. Subspace Highway? Chaos Theater Elevator. Yeah, so we can just go in... To any one of these, we could start the game at any point and check it out. The only thing that's not available to us is that fucking place to the left, which I'm almost wondering if that's Scott and Wallace's apartment. There's also that tube down below. I don't think that's a place that you can actually get to. Um, I'm wondering though if that place to the left is some place we can actually get. I don't know. I've never been able to actually get that. Um, I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll have to look into that. Later. It's got the thick pathway leading off to, to the left there, so it looks like you could actually get to it. How I would manage that, though, I have no clue. I wonder if maybe you'd have to, like, enter Frozen Suburbs, and then, like, go into a secret door, or go down one of the streets that leads off in the background or something. Head to the left, maybe. Or maybe we just have to start a game as Wallace or something. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah. That is uh, Scott Pilgrim versus the world, the game. Um, we did take a look at the extra game modes already, right? Yeah, Boss Rush, Survival Horror, Battle Royale, Dodgeball. And I think these are just like... Yeah, you pick a difficulty, you pick your character, right? Go in, same as usual. Um, yeah. Scat Pilgrim. So, that means... 
Uh, that means that with that done and out of the way, we have another opening on the schedule tomorrow. Which I have to fill with something. Uh, oh. oh, there's a few games that I really want to play. There's a few that I really want to play on the channel, like like right now, but so, some of them are like, some of the games that I really want to play on the channel right now, um, it's not just like a game, it's like I want to get into a series, a long series, like six, seven plus games. And we're all... I feel like we should probably finish some of the series that we're already in the middle of. Like, say, Borderlands and Bioshock. If we can at least start Borderlands and... If we can at least get through 2 and then finish Bioshock 2 as well, um, we could start on something new. Um... Whole bunch of ga whole bunch of games that I like I bought and I was like, oh, this is a cool game. I like this. Let's play this game. And then five, ten years later, and there's like two, three sequels to it, and and now it's a thing. It's like, well, I I could just jump in and have fun with this game, but then that opens up a whole chapter. And I don't particularly this is what I was afraid of, uh, like, starting uh, Bioshock and, and Borderlands uh, simultaneously. Um, is it, like, I don't want to play both at once. Um, but at the same time, um, like, I don't want to play both at once because they're, like, the same kind of game made by the same publisher. Um, same dev, whatever. Uh, and there's... I don't know. I, just, I don't want to do them both at once. But now, if I do one, then that means I'm putting the other one on hold, and I'm not getting to the story. Like, the story is drifting farther away from me, right? We're a lot closer to Bioshock. We're a lot closer to Bioshock, in that, like, we just recently finished uh, Bioshock 1. So maybe we ought to try to, huh? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I'll think about it, and I'll find something to put on the channel, okay? I'll find something for us to play tomorrow. Um, in the meantime, I, uh, I guess I'll, um, I'll thank everybody for coming to hang out today. Uh, everybody who came to hang out live on Twitch in the chat in real time, thank you. Big man, appreciate you guys. I'll thank everybody who came to hang out on YouTube in the archive on your own time. Thank you. Big man, appreciate you guys. If you are in the archive, wherever you are, sorry, wherever you are, whatever platform you're watching my stuff on, know that you can find me on these platforms as well. You can find me on the Twitch, the Twitter, and the YouTube. And whatever platform you're on, make sure you hit all of your buttons, your like, subscribe, notification icon, etc. Uh, and if you do make your way over to the Twitch page and smash the subscription button there, you get access to uh, sub badges and channel emotes um, and access to the Discord in particular, which uh, is a really cool place. I'm there. A bunch of other cool people are there. And yeah, it's a, it's a cool thing to be in. I'm, I'm there to, to reach, dropping memes every once in a while, right? All the announcements and everything get f uh, fed in there, so... It's your one-stop shop for all stuff Bone Score. Uh, make sure if you do smash that button that you link your Twitch to your Discord account um, so that you can get that invite button available to you. Uh, I guess I will ask everybody, as I usually do, to stay inside and stay safe. Stay hygienic and clean. Scrub your fingertips. Scrub your buttholes. Scrub everything in between. Scrub with soap, scrub with water, blah, blah, blah. Wear your masks if you go outside. If you're getting groceries or your medicine, whatever, wear your masks. Do your part, stop the spread. Don't be a dick about it. And, uh, yeah. yeah that, uh, that leaves me with... That leaves me with the reminder today. The reminder 
that uh, this here, this place, this is the Bone Pit, and me, I'm your host, Bone Score, and I do not make any of these video games, I just play them. So thank you for coming out today, everybody. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the show. I hope you guys enjoyed the game today. I hope you guys digged Scott Pilgrim. Digged? Dug. I hope you guys dug Scott Pilgrim today. I love this game, and I hope you enjoyed it as well. Um, go go buy copies of this. Go buy copies of Scott Pilgrim uh, so that you can show Ubisoft that it is a popular game that is not to be taken off of the marketplace again. It is not to be taken down off of the digital marketplace again. Don't fucking do that, Ubisoft. Don't do it. In fact, put it on more marketplaces. Don't just leave the physical edition releases to limited run games. No, no. Print fucking disc copies of Scott Pilgrim. Print cartridges for the Switch. Put it on Steam. Make sure this game doesn't fucking disappear again, okay, everybody? The, who knows what's going to happen in the future? I do not want to lose this game again. <laughs> I do not want to lose this game. Love it to pieces. And I hope you guys enjoyed at least uh, some fraction of the amount that I do. Hope you guys will join me in the future for future streams and i hope you will enjoy whatever the hell else we have to put up on the channel here so until next time i uh, i wish you guys all a good state of existence and i will hope to see you all again later Bye bye